So we're gonna try out the infamous red, white, and blue flea market that's here off Florida Avenue in Tampa, Florida. Let's go in here and see what they got. So, hey guys, I actually misspoke when I said red, white, and blue flea market. It's actually called the red, white, and blue thrift store. And you'll see once we get inside why I say infamous. So, this is one of the largest thrift stores in the Tampa Bay area. They only accept cash only. See here, cash only. They have two ATMs that are located inside and the ATM lines are usually full. So if you decide to ever visit this thrift store, make sure you bring cash because they do not accept debit transactions. So we're going to grab a cart and then we're going to start up here in the front of the store. They have um, a small amount of furniture here up in the front and then they have about four or five aisles of shoes so if you sell clothing and shoes this is definitely the place to come and thrift and then now we're over here by the cds and the books and so the prices on their books aren't too high make every day beautiful i'm always looking for an inspirational read so i might pick this up 2.99 not too bad we'll try it out and so here at this thrift store they color code their clothing as you can see um, this is the main clothing over here but we're headed back to the side wall over here on the left side of the store where they have um, the cups the plates I'm going to check out the mugs to see if I see any Otagiri. Here we have a mug. I thought it was Otagiri. It has a nice little chip on the side, but it wasn't Otagiri. Just going to breeze through here. Um, nothing today. And as I was saying before, this thrift store is huge. It's one of the largest in the Tampa Bay area. People come from all over. Uh, to thrift in this thrift store and um, they have an array of awesome goods and awesome finds um, they have items up for sale on the top of the clothing racks hard good items or knickknacks um, but they do sell their items separate as I was saying before, Salvation Army, if you find candle holders and things like that, they sell them as a set, but here they sell their items separate. I really like this candle holder piece, so I think I'll take this. I actually sold one of these before very quickly, so um, they have some really good finds. This is another candle votive, but there's only one of them. And it seems to be a lot of candles over here. I'll take you guys back to the other side once the traffic subsides. Like I said, this store is very huge and also very busy. And so I try to avoid filming people. So I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance if sometimes I'm going back and forth from side to side on the camera. I'm trying to avoid filming people. Unfortunately, sometimes people do get in the view of the camera this looks like a vintage oil cruet it says bowls 1950 i thought it was um, a deft blue piece as you can see they want 9.99 for it this is a cranberry uh colored and clear glass uh fridge container um I see a lot of people say be on the lookout for those. That was $4.99, which is not too bad. A lot of coats, men's coats. And I'm looking up here on the top rack. They have a lot of Christmas items still. Over here in the kitchen section, I'm always looking for butter bells. I know that those are very popular. And as you can see, they write with permanent marker on the bottom of their pieces. Um, the Salvation Army does not do that. And so I really like that about them. And then they also have the little baggies here. As you can see, this little baggie has a toilet seat, 
a sink, a bathtub. This is probably for a dollhouse, but a lot of little vintage porcelain pieces. Very nice. Um, they also have a lot of Christmas cards and postcards. So if you sell those type of things, they have a lot of that here. And then on the bottom here, they have a lot of uh, picture frames, small frames. And then I'll show you guys on the other side of the store, they have the larger photos and larger photo frames. Still a lot of Christmas ornaments, and now we've made our way back to the hard goods section or the knickknack section. I really like this piece. Uh, let's see what they want for it. $34.99. Where are we? Are we at a thrift store? Now you see why I said infamous. Because a lot of their pieces are very expensive. Um, not really priced for a reseller. But if you're a collector, um, this is definitely the place to come and find a lot of awesome different vintage items. Um, different items that you've never really seen before. I'm not sure where they source their items from. And I don't believe that they are a non-profit organization. So um, I'm not sure if they um, get their donations directly here at the center. Um, but they, also, they always have lots of um, unique items. This was a nice uh, Native American piece. As you can see, they want $20 for it. Uh, a lot of their pieces are quite expensive. So... I rarely find a lot of things here that I'm able to uh, resell because um, they're a little on the pricey side. But I wanted to bring you guys here, uh, for those of you that aren't local, just to have a look at some different thrift stores in the Florida, Tampa Bay area. This is a very beautiful vase. Um, it looks like a piece that comes from China, but still very beautiful uh, with the sunflowers on it. I really love sunflowers and let's get into it so i see a cute little pink trinket box here it's an egg this would be perfect for easter only 99 cent and these little uh trinket boxes sell really well for me and it's porcelain it has the gold around the rim so i think i will go ahead and take this little easter egg trinket box And they still have a lot of Christmas items on their shelves, but I know that some of you buy Christmas items all year long, which is fine. Um, but um, it has to be a very beautiful item for me to pick up because I don't want to overfill my inventory. Um, I really like turtles. I was thinking about these two little guys, um, but... Maybe I should have picked them up, but I, I didn't. They wanted $2.99 each, which was not too bad. This is a cute little piece. It looks like it's from Mexico. Exactly. It says Cancun for $2.99. A, a cute little piggy, uh, piggy bank. And they have a lot of statues, a lot of cowboy pieces. Uh, moose for $14.99. He was very heavy, very nice pieces. And what I find here, their pieces are always in pristine condition. As you can see, this beautiful little daisy vase, $5.99. No chips or cracks on it. Excellent condition. Very beautiful. This cute little cowboy boot. I know a lot of you always say be on the lookout for shoes because shoes are... Uh, a good subject matter to sell so um, that was a cute little shoe and then also owls this is a very beautiful owl piece and he's $12.99 unfortunately he does have a little chip on the back of his tail but still very beautiful and then this beautiful crystal Christmas tree it was only $4.99 um, I got deterred from purchasing it because it had that black marker inside. I probably could have gotten that out if I scrubbed high en hard enough. Um, I'm really having buyer's regret for not picking that up. 
in between the aisles, they have lots of um, postcards and Christmas cards, like I mentioned before. Um, this is a little piggy bank collection here. Nice little full collection of different elephants and pigs. And now all of their knickknacks are along this back wall here. And I usually go just starting on the left side and I make a circle going back up to the front. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, little vase. I thought it was bone china. I could not make out the cursive on this, but very sweet little vase. It did not have any chips or cracks on it. This little 99 cent salt and pepper shaker. If I could have found the other one to it, I would have picked this up. Very cute little black kitty. I really love trinket boxes and this little crystal trinket box here um, made in China. Fifth Avenue crystal. I'm definitely going to take that butterfly crystal piece. And now this is a cute little pottery piece. Unfortunately, they have written on the bottom with a black permanent marker, which is very hard to get out of pottery pieces, even when you scrub with a toothbrush. Uh, but I really like the glaze on this, but unfortunately, I did not get it. And now this looks like sterling silver, it says Japan, but it does not have a price tag on it. This would be perfect for staging earrings on. So I'm going to definitely take this piece and I'll do a Google search to find out more about it. But I really like the vines on it. Very beautiful. Now these vases looks like Linux. Um, this one doesn't say on the bottom. I know this is probably definitely a Linux vase. Yes, it is a Linux vase. And you see they still have that permanent marker. I really dislike them writing on the bottom of items with the permanent marker. Um, this is a little paperweight for $2.99 cute little fox bank this looks like a lid to a christmas item a little hand here maybe that goes to something has a hole now these little musician pieces i found these at salvation army for about $2.99 $3.99 and here they want $12.99 which is exactly what you would charge for that for resale value and this stunning um piece right here they um are actually asking a little more for it they actually want $34.99 so this is definitely not um, a place like I repeated before that you would find a lot of items for resale but definitely a cool place to come and shop if you're interested in decorating your home I really like this little dolphin carved wood piece unfortunately the tail was broken a lot more Native American pieces I see and on the bottom is where the vases are located and so I really like that a lot of their shelves are eye level and so I'm able to film and reach a lot of their items so that's another thing that I do love about shopping here is that it's not so um, small a space everyone can get in and take a look at the items and then they have a lot of items that are eye level so that you can reach them this is a cute little wall pocket uh, vase And now these trinket boxes were very um, unique and cute, um, but maybe they have someone research that items because they were asking $4.99 for this Yankee Doodle trinket box. I don't know much about these brand, but um, they were quite pricey to be trinket boxes, but also very cute. It says Royal Yarmouth, Oh Christmas Tree this one is very beautiful as well and they also wanted $5.99 and so i'm just gonna back up here and give you guys a, a widened view of their shelves and what it looks like here and then in between again we have a few clocks and a few baggies 
and on to the third shelf of hard goods now on these shelves you'll find a little more of the larger items this is a little fish trivet also looks like it can hang on the wall it has a wall hanging they're only one in 2.99 that's not too bad for that also a little hand painted trinket box looks like it's a copper piece they're asking 2.99 which is not bad either but i decided not to take that one now this looks like a ginger jar they're asking $10.99 for that, but it's missing the lid. And that's usually what you would charge for resale for a ginger jar, but with the lid. That looks like a pottery cup holder piece. I really like this rhino book holder. They were asking $14.99 a piece. I really, really love this black cat, and I wish they had the other one to it. They were asking $12.99 just for this one side of the book holder, but that was a really awesome piece. And I know that their tags are different colors, but they don't do tag sales. So I'm sure that they just print out whatever colors on the paper, but they did not have any sales going on here if you guys are interested it's another one of those little musician pieces and they're asking $14.99 for this little guitar player i'm finding a lot of little porcelain tops and lids this kitty i thought he was a candle holder but he's a little lid to something a lot of little metal pieces i'm not quite sure um, what this guy was at first i thought he was a bottle opener These little pieces right here look like souvenir pieces from maybe baseball, gritty. I'm not familiar with the character. <laughs> this looked like a willow tree piece, but on the bottom it did not say willow tree. And then it also did not have a price on it. And this is a sweet little bird. He's not so vintage, but very beautiful little piece. They wanted $1.99 for him. He's playing peekaboo. But look at those eyes. He looks alive. I really like that about the little wooden pieces. This is a little uh, pottery candle holder piece. I like the color of the glaze. But again, they've written with the black marker, which is hard to get out on the pottery pieces. This little owl was very sweet. They wanted $3.99 for him, which is about what you would resell for. And then these little bears, they wanted $1.99 each. Bag of beads and buttons. And now this little eagle piece, he was very heavy, very beautiful piece. But unfortunately, he had a lot of little dings and cracks, and they wanted $39.99 for him. Wow. $3.99 for these little trees. They, want, they had them individually priced, but they had a lot of imperfections on them. Um, I really like this little set. Um, if this was at the Salvation Army, they would have sold these three as a set. Very cute little pieces. And here's another one of those little flower pieces. It's in excellent condition. Very beautiful. No chips or cracks on it. And this one, I could not find a price tag, but it was, it was very heavy. I did not want to pick it up and risk chipping and cracking it. So... I'll just let you guys admire it. This little guy scared me at first. I thought it was a lizard on the shelf. A lot of little glass faces. Cute little dog. And now these patchwork pieces, they're asking $14.99, which is about what you would pay um, what you would sell for if you were reselling. Cute little copper train. I also have a cheetah patchwork piece that I've had for a while. And I have it priced around that same price. 
another one of these little trinket boxes i really like the autumn theme on that one a lot of collector plates and this beautiful little metal heart trinket box they're asking $12.99 some more glass bowls some more collector plates and now I just want to show you guys the array of selection here this is their toy section and then they have aisles and aisles of clothes kids clothes women's clothes men's clothes and now this is in the far right back of the store this is the large kid section and then after the kid section we move into the home goods section where you'll find blinds hand tools vacuum cleaners light fixtures and so this is an awesome way if you have a rehab home to come and find items to you know fix up your home if you are a renter and you want to replace your closet doors or you need to replace a part for your hand tools this is an awesome place to come instead of going to buy new you're preventing items from going to the landfill and it's just an awesome way to get something cheaper for your home like these little plug-in pieces would be perfect for a home office lots of drill pieces cd players for your car and i call it the graveyard of vacuums and then over here is what i mentioned earlier about the larger photo frames they have them lined up over here on the far right side of the store um excuse me guys for just one moment i'm letting the family through all right now we're off again so um back to what i was saying they have the larger photos over here, uh, painted canvas pieces, and then also framed art. And I'll show you here in a moment um, what some of the pricing looks like. For this uh, framed art, they're asking $5.99, in which this is a vintage frame. Very nice. And then we also have more modern frames here and they're asking $7.99 so it's not too bad priced in the artwork section and then on this wall over here we have the microwaves the food processors coffee makers all those type of items and then they also have a tester station where you can plug in the item just to see if it comes on now that doesn't guarantee that it works because it lights up and then as you can see over here there's more bags of toys there's luggage it's just so much to go through here and isn't this a blast from the past look at this house phone who still has a home phone in their house <laughs> i know i don't cell phones have taken over and so this is where the larger furniture is the cabinets the dressers um, the baskets so i've been looking for a little wooden stand that i can turn into a plant stand and so i'm coming over here to take a look to see if i can find something like that and i'm gonna look at this little white table here there we go i don't really like the shape of that but um i'm looking for something along that height and size to be a plant stand in my home but as you can see this store is humongous we have all the lamps up there and now we're approaching the front of the store where the cash registers are located. Along the top of the aisles, they also have a lot of uh, pillows, purses, and knickknacks along the top. Uh, lots of sheets and pillowcases. And then they have the bikes here along the front. And sometimes they even have motor scooters. So when I'm walking along this front aisle, I'm looking at the top of the clothing aisles for uh, knickknacks or hard goods. And so on this aisle, I have spotted some um, crystal salt and pepper shakers. And so let's take a look at these and see what they're wanting for them. I know they price them separately. These are very beautiful. 
and let's look and see what the price is they're asking $2.99 each it says bohemian crystal I'm deciding if I want to take these or not. So, hey, YouTube. Thank you guys for staying tuned for my haul. So, these are the few items that I purchased today at the red, white, and blue thrift store. So, first, we'll start off with the silver what I initially thought was a earring holder is actually a salt and pepper shaker. It says it was made in Japan and I'm going to post the image here on the screen so that you guys could actually see what it looks like with the, um, the strawberry salt and pepper shakers, but they hang right here and it's two strawberries. And as you can see, it's vines here. Now, isn't this piece very beautiful? And you can also see the little grapevines down there as well. And the berries on there. And it looks like a little bushel here. This is a very detailed piece. I really love it. I still think I'm going to keep this piece to hang earrings off of when I'm staging them for resale. So very nice little piece and they did not have a price listed on it so they gave it to me for $1.99 which was awesome. And then I got this little butterfly crystal trinket box for $1.99. I left the price tag on so that you guys could see but unfortunately let me flip it over and show you guys they had it wrapped in tape with the black permanent marker. And as you can see, when I go and pull the tape off, it pulls off the original sticker. I hate that so much because now the original sticker that says Fifth Avenue Crystal is going to peel off with the tape. If you guys know how I can get this sticker to stay on here, leave me a comment below and help a sister out and tell me how I can get this tape to remove from the original sticker it may not even matter because i think the black marker is on the original sticker i can't tell if it's on just the tape or if it's on the sticker as well but if you know how i could get that off message me and let me know that's one of the reasons why i hate when they mark on the items with the permanent marker and then i got this pink and gold Trinket Bot Easter Egg. It has a little flower clasp. It has the hinge in the back. And then it's porcelain on the inside. Very cute little piece, perfect for resale for Easter. And so I am gonna put this up on my resale sites and sell this and I paid 99 cent for it. And then you guys did not see this on camera but I got this little amber glass. I think it's a toothpick holder. Um, you can use it as a Q-tip holder. And it has the little buttons and flowers here. And then also on the bottom, look at that. Very beautiful. It looks like buttons and bows. And I believe this little piece is a Fenton piece. It does not have a sticker anywhere on it. But I know that some Fenton pieces... Uh, came with stickers and just like this piece the sticker is peeling off you know it comes off over time as it's being passed around from hand to hand you know we lose the stickers but it does not have any type of marking or engraving if you are familiar with this piece and you know what the brand is if it's not Fenton um, please correct me and leave me a comment below and let me know but until then I'm gonna go with Fenton because after doing my research, a lot of the sites were saying Fenton. But very beautiful. Look at that one more time. Let me give you guys a close-up of the inside and around the rim. This was definitely on my bolo list. I'm so happy that I found one. Very cool, very beautiful. 
an awesome little piece. And then I also got this for $7.99. It's this little um, African painted, hand painted piece. Looks like a mom and a daughter. And they're carrying serving trays, which also double as a candle holder. And they put tape across the top. I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe it was to protect, if you were picking it up like this, to protect your hands. But um, a very beautiful little piece. Like I said, I sold a set like this before. I love that the mom and daughter are holding hands. Very cute little piece. It would be cute with cute little candles sitting on top. So I really love this piece. I hope you guys really love the video today of the red, white, and blue thrift store. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be visiting some more thrift stores coming soon, and I'll be happy to bring you guys along. Thank you guys for tuning in to, again today, and as always, happy thrifting.